How are we doing? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Bonds Apartment, Luke. Bonds Apartment, me. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. What's up? I put this shirt on. All bets are off. We're going to review these bad boys today. The Barton Pereira Courtier. If you like the shirt, I'll put the link below. You can't really see what it is. I'll flash the picture up. Bang. But I got the shirt on because we're going to talk about these sunglasses. Got the honeymoon coming up at this point, like a week and a half. Thank God. Look how pale I am. Week and a half or something. Can't wait. But yeah, we're going to review these Barton Pereira sunglasses. That's why I got this kind of beachy <laughs> shirt on here. Let's get started. story behind these sunglasses, of course, they're in No Time to Die. You see Billy Magnuson wear them when he visits Bond in Jamaica. Before we know, he's an asshole. Also, I've been watching a lot of TikToks with like a bunch of Italian guys like saying things like, you know, get out of here, forget about it. So it's like I can't not say that. I'm trying. We see him wear these sunglasses on No Time to Die. There's not really many good pictures of him wearing them because they're you know, any stills of him are not in this particular scene. It's kind of like when we see, um, it's like right after Bond notices the cigar in his place, he gets in the car and he kind of cuts off Billy Magnuson and uh, Jeffrey Wright's character, Felix, of course. I think he's wearing them in that scene. So, of course, in the movie you can kind of tell, but there's no good picture. So, I digress. So... The, the rest of the story is my wife and I went to visit the fabulous David and Danielle Zaritsky this past summer. We went to a polo match and David was like, do you want to wear these sunglasses? Because we were down in the basement. I was trying on all the Barton Pereira stuff and whatever. I was like, yeah, I'll wear them. Great. So after that, of course, gave them back, put them back on the shelf. And then here we are. I was like, you know what? I kind of need to get some for myself. I'll talk about where I found them. And the price I paid, because I can tell you one thing, I didn't pay full price. I ain't crazy. So we'll do a bit of an unboxing. We'll get into a review. There's a couple things I love. And believe it or not, a couple things I don't love. So let's start with this. So this is the box they come in. First off, this is not the case for the sunglasses. This is just a box that they come in. So it's got a Barton Pereira 007 obviously limited edition type sleeve. So when you take that off, you've got basically the exact same thing, but etched into the leather this time, Barton Pereira 007. We talk about this all the time with all the different things that we see, whether it's watches, clothes, boots, you name it. We like the subtle 007. We don't like the loud 007, we like the subtle. This is fine for me. It's fine. Opens up like that. The first thing you see is the sunglasses. Now the presentation is not gonna be the best because I've been wearing them, but they actually came with kind of like a little paper, almost like cardboard. They're like kind of wrapped around it to kind of keep them straight and centered. But that's what you see right when you open it up. So before we get to the glasses, we'll talk about the rest of what's in here. So we'll take the glasses out for now. Put them over here. So first, I'll put the box down and make it a little easier on myself. Barton Pereira 007, sticking with the theme here. What's inside is a cloth, a cleaning cloth. This is also very nice because things like this, sunglasses and stuff, I like the fact that it says 007 on there. It's from the movie. I think it was potentially made for the movie. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, I don't do research. <laughs> See, I can't stop with the Italian. Barton Pereira 007, typical cleaning cloth. Got that little special edition thing on there. I like it. I like it. This is also in its own little sleeve in the box. It's got its own little home right here. 
is where this is. And this is actually a certificate of authenticity, like a legitimate credit card type. I, I've never seen anything like this for sunglasses. And I've, I, you know, I've got Persol, Burberry, Ray-Ban, never seen anything like this. I actually also think this is really cool. The number on it starts with 007 dash, blah, 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 blah. Still has 007 in there. But this is all stuff for a collector. You know, it's not all over the sunglasses. It's not screaming 007 whenever you go out. This is kind of stuff you can put in your collection along with the box and, uh, you know, the cleaning cloth and whatever. So that's what the box looks like. So gripe number one, here it comes. Here is the case that it comes with. You may have seen these before. It's like the in thing right now. I hate, hate it. So this is a foldable case. Now don't get me wrong, once it's unfolded, I don't mind it. So this is what it looks like when it's unfolded. So you've got 007 right there. Once again, discreet enough, I don't really care what's on the case. Not saying that I don't like the 007, I do like that it says 007. If it didn't, wouldn't be a big deal. You open it up, Barton Pereira on the inside, sunglasses go right in there. But the thing is, it's collapsible. So yes, for traveling, it's kind of cool. I don't mind it. However, my wife and I, on our little mini moon, right after our wedding, treated ourselves to new sunglasses. She got Burberry and I got Persol. Now I've had mini Persol in the past. I've also had a pair of Burberry, but not in a while. So this is what the new Burberry case would look like. I love the color. And don't get me wrong, for these sunglasses, black makes most sense for the color. But yes, it's kind of a big case, but it's just really elegant. I like the color. I like the size. I like the way it feels. The fact that this one kind of folds, I don't know. I just, because I've seen sunglasses for like $80 come with that exact same case. So some of you guys watching, once again... I don't know if you're a fan of Manis Sebastian Maniscalco, but I'm going to give real price. My parents watch all these. I'll give parent price. Real price. It's like 700 Loop price. I ain't telling you, but it wasn't 700 Okay, I'll tell you later. It's like even Brienne's sunglasses. I think my wife's sunglasses were, I mean, we bought them in Canada. I don't think they were more than 200 US, which isn't bad. But Sunglass Hut here in the States does a lot of deals, like a buy one, get X off. So that's why we each bought some. But this is the Burberry case from a brand new pair of Burberry sunglasses. And then here is what the new Persol cases look like. So also, and this one's a lot tougher than the Burberry one, but still just, I, I like the design of these. And it's kind of like you spend the amount of money. And once again, yes, I got these for an incredibly good deal. They are brand new. I will put the website below. I think around 300 or something but I mean so way less than half price but it's like when you're spending this much on sunglasses I kind of would want something like this not the foldable thing that's my biggest gripe we'll put these boys on see you there I love the way that they look I like the way that they fit they're very light but they do have kind of a good you can really feel it when you put it on. It's not like it's going to fall off if you move or whatever, you dance. <laughs> it's not going to fall off, right? So I like that. And the thing is, these are relatively new. And the Persols were only maybe a month or two beforehand getting these. So they're very different styles. That's like all plastic. This has got some metal on it. So very thin kind of frame where those are a little bit thicker. I can even do a side-by-side -side in a minute. But differences, but also very good quality. Next, back to the James Bond thing. So if you look here, nothing. Then if you look on this side, 007, okay? That's it. That is the only spot on here, on this entire pair of sunglasses where it says 007. So these frames are actually titanium, which is nice too. But, you know, inside here, it says the Courtier 
has some like kind of serial number stuff, says titanium. And then on this side, on the inside, very small Barton Pereira. But the only 007 thing is right here. So it's not once again screaming 007, which we love. I would not want these if it said 007 here or 007 here, you know, or even, and it's not even on both sides. It's literally just the one side. I like that about these. They're kind of, I think they call this lens like an ombre lens. So it's lighter down here and darker up here. So you kind of get two different darknesses when you're looking through them. Of course, they're polarized. Very, very lightweight. These frames, they don't look it, but compared to this part of the frame, around the lens is actually quite thick, which I think gives it a very, very cool kind of, I mean, I had these on and somebody confused them with the ones that he's wearing when he and Nomi dive into the layer at the end. Those Varnay sunglasses, different, but I can see how you can confuse because they've got a little bit of a thicker lens here. But overall, I mean, I love them. The one thing I've noticed, the nose pieces here are like all, you hear that? I didn't pay what most people have paid for these, but if I had, I'd be kind of annoyed. And it's not like anything you can tighten. When I look at it, it kind of just sits in this piece here and it's just, they're just kind of flimsy. You know, like they're not in there very secure. For this kind of price point with these sunglasses, that's another bit of a gripe I have. But overall, I don't really have a black pair. You would kind of say it's kind of a grayish, blackish, silverish look. Obviously not a brown thing, but I like these. And just to do a quick side by side. So as far as the lens size goes, pretty spot on. I'm gonna fold this so we can kind of, pretty spot on lens size. This is what I would consider to be a very thin frame. I mean, look at, it's like a third of the thickness of the Persol, which I really like. Um, both of these kind of have where the metal nose piece there, this one does as well. But overall, I like them. I like the fact that they have the James Bond kind of thing. The Joes, I consider the Barton Prayer Joes, but those kind of look like those ones. Um, they kind of look like any number of Ray-Bans that I've had in the past. So wanted to get something a little different, but not too loud. I think that's exactly this. So I'll put the link below of where I got these because they are sold out now on Barton Pereira's website, which is okay because I'm sure they'd be full price. And uh, that's exactly why even after wearing these at David's in like June or whatever it was, 2022, I came home and I didn't buy these for six or seven months because... I only saw them for full price, and I had uh, no desire to spend that much on these sunglasses. But I'm glad I have them now. Highly recommend. That's it. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to catch the next one. Not sure what it'll be. Maybe about this shirt. I'll put the link to the shirt below, too, if you want it. I may give one away. I have two. It's a size medium. This is a small. So I may give the medium away. Watch out for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.